Hi and welcome to this new video and in this one we're going to be looking at the track editor so this is more new functionality that we've added into Velostro 1.7 and this is very specifically to do with tracks and track sharing there are actually changes to track editor as well but I'll save that for another video this video is all about track sharing so if we go into the track editor you'll see that this looks a little bit different to what you've currently got in 1.6 so in 1.6 you've got edit, rename, delete and export and you've got import what you haven't got is upload and download so you've still got the import track capability and the export track capability and we still very very much want to encourage people to share tracks however they wish so if you want to share tracks on your website via Facebook groups, on YouTube, under, underneath a YouTube video, however you want to do it, that's entirely up to you. But what we would like to do is offer more functionality and we've done that with a central track database. So Vlostro 1.7 is connected to a central track database directly from the simulator. So these are all tracks that I've currently got on my machine and if I click download track it takes me to the central track database so these are all tracks sitting in the central track database which anyone can upload to so anyone who's got a full copy of Velostrone can create a track and they can upload it to the track database and as soon as you do that it's available to everyone in the simulator immediately so uh, if we look in here you can see that there are tracks that I've uploaded and there's also tracks from say Docs here who's uploaded a track here called Round and Through and you can see I can't delete that one because it belongs to Docs and Titanium FPV has got his iSeries Rush Race 1 track here and I can't delete that either that belongs to him only he can change and delete it from within the central track database however my tracks that I've uploaded I can of course delete from the database if I want to uh, if I see a track here um, and I you know, fancy it and I haven't got it on my machine like uh, let's say uh, down here so let's say barracks this one here one of my tracks if I wanted to download that I just click download it downloads it to my machine and if I go back here now I've got two copies of it because I already had it but you can see it's downloaded it if I was to delete, to delete both of these let's get rid of both of them like that Go back to download track, find barracks again. Where are we? Here we go, click download. You can see it's back in my list, and I can now edit it, rename it, delete it, export it. But I can't upload it because it's already, it knows it's already in the database, so I can't upload it again. Um, what I can do is edit it, um, delete the one that's in the database, and then upload it again so it becomes a new version okay uh, so that's pretty much it that's the new functionality so you've now got the ability to import tracks that you've got off the internet export tracks and share them onto the internet download tracks from the central database or upload tracks into, into the cent central database and our hope is that adding this new functionality will massively increase the number of tracks that are available to customers via the download track capability and it should allow for much, much wider sharing of some of the really good work that track builders are doing, creating real world tracks and fantasy tracks within Velostrone and sharing them with the community. So that's it, and I'll see you on the next video.